Looking for indie game news? We've got you covered. This is the Weekly Brew. The life sim game set in the desert, My Time at Sandrock, has announced a new update and DLC is on the way. Celebrating the game's first anniversary, the new free update will include some cowboy outfits so you can celebrate in style. The Love Chronicles DLC will add more romance with new side quests for a ton of the characters, and it also includes some new voice recordings and interactive content so you can deepen your relationships with your favorite NPCs. Both the free update and the DLC are dropping on the same day. You can jump into the new content from November 1st. The arcade simulation game where you play as a rookie paramedic, Neo Harbor Rescue Squad, has announced its release date. This colorful game sees you juggle waves of patients in a battle-like triage system and treat them all through the dozens of different treatment minigames. With a wild and quirky story to boot, this one looks said to be a hilarious game full of action and is dropping November 12th. The cozy roguelite exploration game where you venture into the mysterious miasma to save lost snacks into the embolens is getting a new update. The next update for the game sees the addition of the fourth biome, which is sure to add some different resources and things to collect. We don't have any other information at this stage, but we do know that it's coming this week. You can explore the fourth biome from October 23rd. A new narrative teaser has dropped from the world's first psychic antiquing breakup game. Mystique's Haunted Antiques is an adventure mystery game about four women running a failing antique store, and we've been given the first peek into the game. The new trailer showcases some of the mystery of the game, introducing us to the world, and gives us a glimpse of a couple of the characters. This is already looking said to be a pretty iconic game, so definitely make sure to add this one to your wish list. The village building game where you stack cards to collect food, build your village, and fight creatures, Stacklands, is getting a new free update and a DLC. The free update sees the addition of roads to the game, so you'll be able to direct the output of cards and essentially adds a touch of automation to the game. The Stacklands 2000 DLC pack sees the industrial revolution added to the game, turning villages into cities and requiring you to manage your city's well-being, infrastructure, factories, and more. Both the free update and the DLC will be dropping at the same time, so you can get your Stacklands fix from October 30th. The Aussie-themed farming sim Dinkum has has dropped a new update to the game. The Flaming Winter update sees the addition of winter to the game, adding snowfall during winter and the potential for snow days to occur. A new level of the mines has also been added and this is the most dangerous level yet as it's filled with lava. Of course, the more dangerous the level, the greater the rewards, but good gear is essential for exploring this new one. The new update is already live, so you can dive in right now and explore the new additions. The first teaser trailer for Subnautica 2 has dropped, marking the official announcement of the game. The second game in the underwater survival exploration series is set in an all new alien world with an all new story where you'll need to learn how to survive in this strange environment. With online multiplayer co-op confirmed and some stunning landscapes revealed, this one is already looking incredible. The Steam page is live now, so definitely head over and wishlist it so you don't miss any updates about the game. We've got some amazing indie games dropping this week, including Railroad Corporation 2, a railroad tycoon game where you manage a new train corporation, drops October 21st. Wilmot Works It Out, a cozy puzzle rearranging game where you'll sort puzzles to make pictures, drops October 23rd. Orange Season, a farming life sim where you build a thriving farm, is getting its 1.0 release October 24th, Bot World Odyssey, an open world creature collector where you'll discover and battle with bots, drops October 24th, and Alnico Smithery, a hand-drawn forging simulator where you'll mine for ore, smelt ingots, and more, drops in early access October 25th. That is a wrap on this week's brew. Let us know in the comments below what you're most excited about this week. And until next time, stay caffeinated.